So, uh, Paul, tell us about uh, some of the activities that have been going on this weekend here at the Jubilee Yacht Club. Well, we were fortunate enough to bid for and be selected to host the Snipe National Regatta for 2019. A Snipe is a 15 and a half foot sailboat sailed in 34 countries around the world. Uh, very active in the United States, but actually now more active in Europe and South America. Uh, we've been working on this regatta since November of last year, and we have 51 boats in the regatta coming from 12 states, being trailered as far away as California, Florida, Missouri, Ohio, etc. So there's quite a representation across different states. We've got two Olymp former Olympic sailors here who are in this class who went to the Olympics and won it. Uh, we've got world-class sailors who have won championships in multiple countries. And the age range is interesting. The youngest skipper is out there with his dad, and he's about 14. Huh. The oldest has been in the snipe fleet for a long time, and he's 72. Okay. Yeah. Now, what what uh, what happens, Paul, in a regatta? Let's take let's take a layman that doesn't know much about it. Do they, is this like a race? Do they go like in a triangle race and fastest boats, or what what happens in a regatta? It, what is, are the... a, it is a series of races. Uh, we got in three on Thursday, one on Friday, one Saturday because the wind was very light, and then three today. We've had a very nice wind today. And basically, all the boats start together. Uh, there are three guns, a five-minute, a four-minute, a one-minute, and a start. Uh, there's a starting line with boats on each end. Uh, if you go over that line before the gun sounds, you got to go back and start again. <laughs> and then you go to uh, what's called the windward mark. So you're going into the wind and tacking back and forth to get to that mark. You go around it and then you go with your sails out, because the wind's now behind you, down to a leeward, what's known as a leeward mark. Uh, you round that mark, and then typically you go back to that windward mark, and you finish at the starting line. Okay. A normal race is about 60 minutes, and maybe about, uh, you know, six or seven miles. It's okay, six or seven miles in, in length. And, it, and so everybody in the competition has to race this course once, twice, three times? How, how does it work? Well, you race every time there's a race, and then you tally up the scores. Okay. It's a low-scoring system, so the winner of the race gets one point. The boat that comes in 51st gets 51 points. Low total is best. And um, we have eight, eight races. Going into today, we had five races, and the leader had about 30 points. <laughs> they had averaged like sixth. Mm -hmm. They had won one race, but had a bad race, and you know, mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. They're and all very competitive, so there's been a lot of up and down, because out of the 51 sailors, Probably any one of 30 could win it. The other mm -hmm. 21, probably not. Mm -hmm. and, and how popular is snipe racing, let's say, around the world? Is it a popular sort of a sport? Yeah, there's about 30, 31,000 snipes, 34 countries. Uh, the top two finishers in this regatta at Jubilee and Beverly uh, qualify for the World Snipe Championship, which is in uh, Brazil in uh, November. And it's very, very popular in South America, in Europe. The International Commodore for the Snipe Fleet, current International Commodore, is from uh, Italy. Mm -hmm. And he came over for this regatta and oh, wow. is here. You, you might want to talk with him later. I'll okay. You. Okay. Now, are you, uh, do you have a Snipe? Are you a Snipe uh, no, boater? No. no. Well, I owned a Snipe once to try to help get a fleet, small fleet started at Jubilee. Uh -huh. This was yeah. about 12 years ago when we started these regattas, and this is by far the largest one we've mm -hmm. had. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I didn't really, it wasn't the boat for me. And it's, it's funny, this won't go on, but the, uh, the guy never cashed my check, so I basically got this, <laughs> I basically got this knife for nothing. So I felt guilty selling it, so I gave it to somebody I knew we used to, uh, we had a couple little kids who used to sail with my, my younger son on a J24. I gave him the snipe because he lives up in New Hampshire on a nice little... <laughs>
<laughs> now, now, do these, do the, uh, is there like a, a, a worldwide, do these points kind of accumulate into like the, the snipe king of, of, of the year no. or something like that? No, it's regatta by regatta. Regatta by regatta, but, yeah. But if you win a lot of regattas, there are special awards. There's the Rolex Sailor of the Year, which is a very prestigious award of the best sailor across all uh, one design classes of sailboats, which means one design class is a class like the Snipes, where they're all the same size, the same sail size, they have weight restrictions, they can't be less than 381 pounds, okay, specifics like that. So across all classes of boats that are one design, each year the Rolex is awarded, and um, uh, there are three Rolex champions in this regatta wow. over the last... Uh, Years. Mm -hmm. now, now, this this must uh, be quite a lot of work for the people here at the Jubilee Yacht Club. How, what kind of pressure does it put on you and everybody else in the club? Well, we had a committee. We 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 got the word that we won the uh, regatta back in November. And we started meeting in December, once a month probably through March, and then we meet weekly in April, May, and June. That's so much fun. And. Um, the committee was relatively small, but everybody had their area. It was 12 to 15 people, but it was a great exercise in teamwork. And I kind of was organizing the whole thing along with Shan McAdoo, who's on the water today. He's the principal race officer, the PRO, who sets all the courses each day and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And then I've been basically doing all the land stuff because we've had entertainment every night as well as coordinating between the water and the land. And, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a lot of work and um, the members have been good because it is a bit of a disruption for the club, but it's a real plum for the club too, in terms of publicity and things like that. Now Bevcam will be interested in this. We had a photographer and drone pilot came up from Chile. Wow. And he he's a commercial pilot, but he specializes in flying a drone on and off a little power boat during sailboat during the, regattas yes. and capturing the starts of the races and all that. And if you go up and on um, the web and just go to uh, go to Facebook and snipe 554, uh, you'll see some of the footage of this and it's incredible what he does with the drone. Yeah, no, they, they, yeah. what they're doing with the uh, with uh, drones these drugs. days, yeah, we have ours. Yeah, it's right, amazing right, right, what, what right. can be done. Right. Well, Par Oral, now are you are you, are you still the president of the, of the Jubilee Yacht Club? Uh, no, I was Commodore back in 2008. Okay, I'm still involved in the finance committee, and I like to do things like this. Okay, but yeah, let well, other people. Do well, it looks like it looks. This is a. It, for those of you who you you, uh, you can't see over the video, but it's a, I think it's about 100 degrees out, 99 or 100 so. degrees out, with high humidity. So, but down the water here, it really cuts into that uh, considerably. So, Paul. Paul Earl, thank you very much for that little bit of education on snipe boat races here from the Jubilee Yacht Club. Thank Thanks you, Paul. Well. Thank you. Quantum Snipe Nationals 2019. Uh, we hope you've had a great time. We won't assume anything, both on the water and on the land, living up to your motto, serious sailing, serious motto. Uh, today, I know you had some really serious sailing. 
and I'm really happy for all of you that you're going home having gotten in three really good races today with good air. Uh, the last three days have been like okay, but today was really a good way to top it off. So again, I hope you had fun. Thanks for coming. We had a total of 48 boats at sail all four days. Uh, uh, we got eight races in for the regatta, and we have boats from 12 states. And we have, obviously, the International Commodore Pietro here from uh, Italy. So it's been a real treat for Jubilee, and I want to thank you for, for coming. Now, I want to thank the people that worked hard since last November to uh, pull this off. So when I mentioned your, uh, read your name, if you could uh, stand, please. There's not a lot of space up here, so just stand, but stay up. Don't sit down right now. Julia Marsh, Ravens. <laughs> Kathy Whitehair. <laughs> Linda Millette. <laughs> Mary Hain. <laughs> I'm getting to some guys. Uh, Mike Coughlin. Pat Pierce, on the voice for four days, uh, Peter Devlin, Peter Dragonis, I don't think Peter's here, but he, uh, he did all the work to make us, uh, make that beach available for us. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, Dale Earl. It's okay. Thank you. Beth Willis. And last but not least, Mark Weldon. Also, I would like Benja to stand up. Our drone pilot and photographer. He didn't come from Danvers or somewhere in Florida or whatever. He came from Chile. And uh, he's done an awesome job, and I want to thank you very much for coming up and being with us. Thank you. Outstanding! I'd also like to acknowledge our co-PRO. And in the beginning, you couldn't get out unless you were measured in weight. And I want to recognize Jack Gannon and Bob Boyle for taking that on. I'd also like to acknowledge the Mystic, what we call the Mystic Lake Group, which would be the two clubs down there for your uh, for your support of this regatta, uh, financially and also people resources, bringing the rib up and everything else, and especially to Art and Martin Frazier. Thank you very much. Regatta uh, helping out and before it. So I want to, don't have time to name everybody, but really, thanks a lot. You, you know it's from the heart. Uh, I think Jubilee's, our motto is we stand by to assist, and um, I think uh, a lot of people did, and that's what made this happen. So thank you very much to all the volunteers from Jubilee. And that would include the bartenders backs and everybody else that is working. I want to give special thanks again to the sponsors. We ended up getting over 20 sponsors, both financial and uh, in kind, like food, just donated. Um, it, it, when all is said and done, it represented about $15,000 and it enabled us to hopefully have put on a first class event here, including the drone, the entertainment, and everything else. So I want a big round of applause, even though the time here is Are there any sponsors here? If there are, I'd ask you to stand up. I can't, right now, at this moment, I can't remember anything. Um, for sure, so. All right. Uh, and uh, last but 
certainly not least, uh, I want to thank the club officers. Any club officers from Jubilee that are here, please stand. Alex Arsis, our Commodore. Jeff, Jeff Earl is in the back, he's Vice Commodore. But thank you guys for your support and thanks to the executive committee. The club has contributed substantially in many, many ways to making this happen. And it's uh, because we have a pretty big membership and a fairly limited facility. I think all of you did great over the weekend, in my opinion, in terms of the, the float usage and parking and all that. And we had a little check-in meeting on Saturday morning. So thanks to everybody and thanks to the club. Okay, now before we get to the awards, we'll shift for a few comments from Pietro and Tony, your international Commodore. Pietro? Hey! Oh, man! Uh, so we had uh, three days of uh, nice, four days. Three days of of uh, shifty winds, uh, light wind, fluky conditions, and uh, today finally a good breeze, the races. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. I cannot hear you. Did you have fun? Yeah. So thank you to Sky, Skyra USA, Alp. You did a great job. Thank you to the club, the Jubilee Youth Club. And of course, uh, thank you, sailors, uh, for coming. Uh, without you, it's impossible uh, any regatta, so... <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I think at the end, uh, the top teams uh, prevailed, and uh, so congratulations to them, but congratulations also to the junior team, to the kids. I see here in uh, the United States a good turnout and uh, new entries. So this is uh, a very good news. Thank you, everybody. Okay, now a person probably not many of you know, but Art is going to say a few words. Art's never short on words, and you always say really good words, so. Right, so I need a show of hands if you are 30 years old or under. That's sales, excuse me. Let's, uh, and sorry, uh, Carrie, that doesn't count. <laughs> we, need a, we need a quick counter. We need a quick counter. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, looks like a lot. I think about a third, something in the order of a third or under 30. There was a challenge I gave to a table of college guys, or college crews. Was there a uh, universal uh, decision on which college is most attended in here, represented? It's okay, it's just... Oh, there's some trash talking going on already. All right, okay. Michigan. Tough to be you and I, might think. All right. So sort of along those lines, I'd like to recognize two particularly in particular, Lexi Pline. Charlie Best. Charlie Best. These guys, these guys uh, represent the uh, the highest turnout. If there was a finder's fee you'd, for sailors, you'd be a rich person. Right now. Yeah, I'm working on it. That's right. I'm gonna, that's going to be a new trophy. No, it's, it's going to be a new fiscal thing. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's been cool watching everything like that. So the next aspect is making sure for those who are here and feeling the energy as well as the heat, is to continue on. You'll be some e getting some emails from me about how we not chase away and say, oh, this is just another cool regatta, and now what's next, okay? So that's, uh, that'll be coming. Uh, I'm thrilled to have everybody here. Oh, the last, uh, the, the last thing I wanted to say is um, 12. What's, who's, who's math? 12, there's a couple of math people. What's the fraction of 12 into 51? Just over four. 25%, let's say 20. Four point something. All right, so about uh, about 20%. Something in the order of a quarter of the boats here were charters. And the cool part about these charters, they were all free, okay? So this is why I go around and I was uh, reminding uh, the, the charter-ers 
of how important this is. This is a new phenomenon, it's nice. Ten years ago, charters was kind of a bizarre thing. Now it's an important aspect because people can't try. So thank you all the charterers. I'm not gonna name them because everyone's gonna be speed dial on you for the next person, okay? <laughs> And for all of those who charter who chartered a boat, I'm gonna be I'm gonna publicly request that you think of some method of appreciating the uh, the uh, owners of the boats you had. I'll leave that up to you and how to do that. And that uh, is all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, on to the awards. Um, we'll start with. Photograph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll start with the uh, top female team. They actually came in uh, uh, fourth in the regatta. Uh, that would be Carol Cronin and Kim Perance. Perpetual, the Eleanor Williams Award for Top Female Skipper or Crew. And this year it's a crew, Kathleen Tok. Junior boat, all the way from Florida, Tucker Wheat. And Alex City, his crew. Is Ian Sestapala Ivan with Lexi Pine.
Okay, the next is a special one that we have uh, invented because of a really nice gesture that happened on uh, Thursday, I think, Shane, right? And it's the sportsmanship, the JYC Sportsmanship Award for the Snipe Nationals. And it's going to Brendan Pollock. Brendan? Okay, so it's, uh, it's my uh, position that a man or person should not be judged by how he falls, but how he stands back up again. So, uh, Brendan uh, found himself in an unusual position, having only sailed in a small lake in Connecticut with maybe 10 boats or something like that, of uh, being on the windward side of a very high competitive bunch of people and saying, I don't think I should be here. <laughs> and there were a couple of other people who reminded him that it's time. But here's the point is that that night, he took the time to write me a very eloquent email saying, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm really, uh, I, I want to make sure everyone's okay with this, and if it's okay, I, I think I'm going home. And the head judge, judge and I both responded saying, no, please stay. So the fact that you um, made that gesture, everyone makes mistakes, okay? I make mistakes, I can make lots of mistakes. The only difference between you and me is I make more mistakes than you have. Okay, so thank you very much, and congratulations, and I look forward to seeing you back in your Series. This is the first annual pickleball award. Okay, given out by folks who, two folks who couldn't be here for all four days because of work commitments, etc., but made it here for a couple of days and raced. And we had a few in that category. And the winner this year is Peter Bronk and his crew, John Tate. to the oldest skipper in the regatta. Uh, 13 of you out of the 51 registrants are 30 years or under, so you're not eligible, okay? Uh, and if we get to the oldest, it would be Stefan Ergens really? from Missouri, 72 years young. And his wife, Monica,
Stay here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't go in. The other one is a perpetual yeah. tour here. Unfortunately, last year's winner failed to uh, uh, nail it back to us. So oh. Okay. okay. Well, congratulations. Okay. Uh, next is the master's top placing master, 45 years old or older. And that would be a competitor everybody here knows, Augie Diaz. Is a Carolyn Nate Trophy, Newt, Newt Trophy for the uh, uh, best uh, placing married couple, and that would be Art and Jennifer Ruminier. that the National Secretary gives out. This is why I get paid the big bucks to do this. <laughs> this is a trophy that we present to the regatta chairs, or dryer chair, or chairs of the national championships. And this year, it was uh, chaired most professionally and ably by Paula Earl and Shannon. Award is another annual uh, trophy that's presented at the, at the nationals, and this is prevented, uh, presented to the uh, principal race officer of the national championships. And this year, it was a co-team of Shan McAdoo and Susie Snyder.
Okay, thanks, Art. Now, after all of those awards, we can get to the top five finishers. How's that? And we'll... Kathy, we'll start with number five and work our way up. In fifth place, with 50.5 points, Jim Bowers and Julia Marsh Raven. Winchester Boat Club. How can I forget that? Okay. In fourth place, with 50 points, Carol Cronin and Kim Ferrant. Okay, in third place, with 27 points, eight races, 27 points, impressive. Ernesto Rodriguez and Hallie S uh, Schiffman from NA. Diaz and Margo Bacro. Tomas Hornos and Kathleen Toke. Brief. I just want to say a few words. Um, I'm so, so grateful to be back in the Senate class. It's, it's amazing. It's been too long. Um, to be honest, it was sort of like a, uh, I took a few years off and then I was trying to find the right time to come back in the class and it just never came around. And when Kathy uh, called me to, to invite me to sail this regatta, I was like, absolutely, we have to make this happen. Um, so that leads me to a couple of thank yous. 
Uh, first of all, Andy Klein uh, for lending me a second vote. It was great, uh, super generous. And like Art said, the chartering that happens in this class is super important. And I'm glad I was able to be part of it and really needs to continue. Um, and of course, thank you, Jubilee Yacht Club, uh, Paul and Shan, so much work. It's really noticeable and you guys did a great job. Thank you so much. Uh, Art and Pietro, it's having an international secretary fly here is no joke and uh, I'm really happy for that. Um, Sailing with Augie and Ernesto, other legends. Um, you know, even Augie lend me a jib who we got a super generous. Uh, it's contagious uh, and you know, really makes me want to come back and sail. Um, I think I'm hooked for a little bit now. So, um, Lastly, I want to thank Kathleen because she really did a great job. Um, it's no joke that she was a lot of regattas and I, I really appreciate her uh, for sending me this week. Um, I think that's all I got. Uh, really happy to be back and thank you all for making this a really special week weekend. Uh, we'll see you at the next one. Items, quick ones. The silent auction will close at uh, 6.30. We're gonna end this in about five minutes. We can go outside and get some air. Um, so please uh, take a look again, and also if you bid on anything, please take your items at 6.30 and, uh, or whenever, and uh, pay at the auxiliary bar in the back of the room. You can use credit card. What? Okay. Okay, very good. And you can use credit card, cash, or uh, uh, check. Uh, there's still clothing for sale over in the corner. And if you want to order a tech shirt, some of you have because we ran out of them. But if you still want to, you're welcome to. We just need your payment, the size, and the address to send it to. We'll cover the postage and all that. We just need to have that information, okay? And last, I think you've got your koozies, but if you haven't, please take these wonderful koozies provided by Art and Jennifer Roman Air, um, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Sure, okay, one second. Shan, would you like to say a few words? I would think so. I have been lucky enough for the last four days to have about the best seat in the house. Uh, as you can see, Benja has done a magnificent job capturing this event, but uh, my perspective I think was slightly better. Watching you all sail these boats is just a magnificent thing to do, and I am privileged to have been a part of it, and I thank you very much for it. And lastly, I want to apologize to my event co-chair, Paul Earl, because I am a scatterbrained nitwit and he kept the trains running on time and he made this thing happen. And without him, I assure you, you would not be here. So thank you, Paul. Only one part of that was true. He is a scatterbrained nickel. <laughs> okay. Um, Alex. Alex Ars is Commodore of Jubilee Aqua. Would you like to say a few words? I only have a couple things to say because it's so warm in here and you've heard almost everything that you could possibly hear already. I just want to thank you all for coming. I hope you've had a great time. And I hope you'll come again. 
if we ever have the pleasure of serving this organization once more. Thank you for being here. Okay, I think there's a couple of, uh, Art, Art has one announcement about a uh, group photo, I think. There's two things in terms of photos. When you go to the Smug Mug, you'll see something that looks like you gotta buy the photos, but they're actually just download, okay? They're not, uh, they're, 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 they're not, uh, they're used, Benji has done absolutely just, just jaw dropping stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing this stuff, thank you very much. But that's number one. Um, number two is we have the last photo we're gonna do, we're gonna do something different as, as usual here. We're gonna do a, a photo which involves all of us having to get up and go downstairs in the shadow of underneath the deck right there. We're gonna do a 360 team photo of everybody. It means you have to take what you have. I know there's dessert that's up here, but what I'd really love to do is get everybody to stand up, stretch their legs, walk on downstairs, we'll do a quick photo, and then we'll release for the day. And then, a couple of fleet uh, fleet announcements, I think. They're really quick. Let's make a wish. What? Next event, make a wish. August third and fourth, make uh, Cottage Park Yacht Club twenty um, fifth anniversary. They'll be at the Cardi Tear Party again. Um, they sent out an email at least to Mr. Blake Fleet the other week trying to drum up some. Uh, Interest, I know we have an out of town I'm looking for a boat and housing, which I'm working on. And um, contact me, ask me any questions. Next Saturday, we're running a one day team racing event at Cross the Bog. You don't have to bring a boat, we're supplying all, all six boats. And uh, anybody who wants to come, ask me about me. August 24th and 25th is the Board of Governors of Canada. We're having a party, we're dancing, we're camping, we're swimming, we're having lobster, and we might go sailing at some point. Yeah. The next big uh, nas U.S. National Regatta is the U.S. Snipe Masters, September 20th through the 22nd in Annapolis, run in conjunction with our Frigid Digit Regatta. So, if you want to come sell the Masters, you can come to sell the Masters. You're kind of relaxed. If you want to do more, you can register for both. Uh, I've got some flyers. You're you not can... really wanting, you just right. If you're not, if you're not a Master, come sell the Frigid Digit. Everybody just sell together. But um, if you're just a Master and it's too windy, we won't sell the Masters. But if you're a Master and you want to sell the Frigid Digit, you can stay out. So it's going to make everybody happy, regardless of what kind of conditions we have and regardless of how old you are. I've got some flyers. Uh, email me at alex at if you want some more information. We'll house people and we'll have a great time. And the national, nationals before that is the women's nationals in Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska, and the end of uh, August. Okay, again, on behalf of Jubilee, thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Good afternoon, Thank you.